In this video, we're going to explore in JavaScript how to use a number is integer method in JavaScript. And basically what this does is analyze if a variable is an integer yes or no. And if it is, it will echo out or return a value true, meaning that it is a number. And if it's false, it will return the value or if it's incorrect, it will return the value false, meaning that the the, uh, the value or the variable you're com comparing is not an integer. To be clear, what is an integer? An integer is a solid number, complete number. So it's not a floating number or a number with decimals. So let's start and explore. But before I do that, if you want to learn more about Chart.js, check out my Chart.js course on Udemy. You can find the link in the description box. All right. So let's start and explore this and what we're going to do is the following here we have here a constant and let's say this constant is the price of a product we are going to buy milk so we have the price of a milk and the price is one dollar zero zero all right for let's say one dollar for now so if you want to analyze if this is an integer, we can start to explore this. So how do we do this? Well, all we have to do is here, we have to type a number dot and make sure that number is with a capital N for Nancy. So that's very important. And then you say is integer with capital I. And then in here, we'll put in the value and the value we put in is basically this one here, which is a variable or a constant. So once we have this, we can show this in our console.log. We're going to display this value and see if this is true or false. Let's save this. Go back here, refresh, and then open up our developer tab. And in our developer tab, you can see now the value indicates true. So this is a Boolean value, and the value is true, meaning this is correct. So what happened if I put in here .00? Save this. Refresh. It is still an integer. All right. What happened if we change that to 0 0.9 or 1.09? Then we ref refresh and then you see it becomes false. And the reason why it becomes false is because they cannot round it or remove these. You cannot remove this. If it's 0, 0, it remove it because basically it is 1. That's no problem. But if it's 0, 9, it is not 1 anymore because it's 1 with a decimal point here basically and this becomes false so what we can do more we can test this well what to happen if we make it a string let's save that and refresh in this case as you can see it's not an integer and the reason why it's not an integer because it's not a number anymore it is considered a string so this is how you can use the number that is integer and the only reason you will use this is not really for customer usage but more for your website visitors but it's more for yourself most often you will use this to validate if everything is correct and if you get an error message sometimes you get an error message and you need to validate is a certain variable or number that you expect should be a number is it a number or is it an integer yes or no and this helps you to debug basically if something is a number yes or no so this is just a tool more for a javascript developer than for practical use cases on your website so if you like these kind of tips you know, you want to know more about javascript subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding to this just post them in the comment section below